Hello, hello, my friends, and finally this happened. I got Ycam version 3. I had to pay extra shipping from United States, and I got it because unfortunately it's not yet available in Canada so I'm sort of smuggled, smuggled it from United States so yes this is Wisecam version 3 newly updated version of um, camera I don't want to call it security camera because I don't think it is security per se camera but it's a camera which you can use indoor and outdoor so what are the features all these features are nicely listed over here on the box it supports 1080p it is ip65 water resistant that's really awesome two-way audio 24 hours recording if you have sd card plugged in inside uh, free cloud storage for 12 second videos motion sound detection it's again free and and person detection and full-length motion recording when you have a subscription which costs extra money color color night vision <laughs> they actually compare two pictures over here a classic night vision and color night vision so understand classic is they want to compare with camera like uh, vice cam v2 and this is vice cam v3 so form factor of the camera is very similar to vice cam v3 and any other cameras like blink for example they are pretty much similar size and form factors so uh, wired wired here means that it's powered by wire it does it's not it doesn't have batteries essentially but some people would macgyver some batteries and i'm probably gonna do this as well to macgyver some battery pack for it maybe even battery pack with solar panel but that's uh, some other projects i would like to do so what uh, we have to do well we have to unbox it now for this little cute camera, I have to use my little cute knife over here. And drum roll. So nice. Okay, quick start guide. As much as I like the product, sometimes I like also unpack them because you see all this packaging, cool stuff, uh, how marketing was kind of thinking and um, uh, designing all this just to for people convenience. All right, so what's in the box? They say how the camera looks like, the quick installation instructions, a very nice and friendly user manual over here. Very nicely done. Okay, let's put it here. Then we have camera itself. Nicely wrapped. Okay, let's... Is, is it what? Is it... Per, what? Okay. Let me actually slice this nicely to make sure not to cut whatever is not supposed to be cut. Okay, don't need this. All right, here's the camera. Nicely packaged in this plasticky container. Sorry plastic wrap all right so it looks like it is have permanently attached um, this cable to it interesting solution okay face front face over here I'm gonna deal with it a bit later typical design of the stand it's rotatable like this and also rotatable like this and also rotatable over here yeah so this feed can be positioned differently also does i think it does it have a magnet i think it has a magnet over here and it also have a screw hole so you can mount it all right there is a speaker vents over here and i'm not sure where is the microphone okay well, well let's take a look what, what the heck is that I see now. This is sort of micro USB uh, plug. Then you probably have to plug supplied micro USB cable. And I guess this is how they ensure that there is a watertight uh, connection over here. Okay, well, this is an interesting solution. Cable looks like nice and long. Doesn't say how long it is. USB cable doesn't say 
It, it's gonna be probably one half meter long or something to this extent. Also, it comes with a whole bunch of other accessories. Let's take a look. What are they? 3M mounting tape. I don't think this is magnetic. No. What? No. So, because this bottom, I think, is magnetic, yes. So don't put this close to your cassette tapes or anything like that, because <laughs> it's a really strong magnet. All right, this is good. Some screws to mount it permanently. And what's, what is this? 1000, 1 amp, 5 volt, 1 amp power supply. It's exactly the same as this guy, yes. It's a bit different markings over here, but the same. Uh, 5 volt, 1000 milliamp, so no difference. Actually, they are pretty ubiquitous. I'm using them every time. Looks like its camera is a, is a bit bigger than the Vice Cam V2, uh, I realized. But I will let me grab another one and I compare them. All right, so let's follow the quick start guide this time. This time I'll try to use. Uh, actually manual because usually I don't do that so uh, I do have an app already installed on the phone this is Android phone obviously uh, connect the camera to a power cord and wait for 20 seconds until it flashes red I hope you see that press it up for three seconds until there is a voice prompt okay it's unpressable All right, you have to really press it hard, by the way. Keep that in mind. You, you see that? I was using pen and just really pushing it. Okay, follow the instructions. Okay, follow the instructions in the voice up to finish the top. I guess you have to like add device, cameras. Yes, yes, wait a second. Next. Ready to connect, sure. Ready to connect. Sure. Oh, password, sure. Ready to connect. Scan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, to remove this, I guess. Okay, let's wait. Setup completed. Ta da! All right, name device. Uh, why is Cam V3? Okay, it's just uh, Cam. Call it Cam V3, not Cab. Cam. I think it's fine. Yada yada yada. Wait. Okay. So they mentioned this is kind of funny. I would like to not do this no matter what. Your device is automatically enrolled in a two week trial. No credit card is required. Complete motion capture person detection yeah this is probably to illustrate the features this is just actually good I would be able to show you this stuff not today maybe later they have pinch zooming up cancel not gonna do firmware update at the moment and as you see yes I know all this all right so here we are Mm, I do want to test the actual suggestion to test something. Yeah, I'm going to just put some other cameras right here. We're going to look at them. Okay, so here we are. This is how it looks like. Refresh rate is has some 
delay, but not too much, probably half a second, 30, 300 milliseconds. It's not bad. Obviously, it's going to be depending on your cell phone connectivity, on your Wi-Fi connectivity and stuff like that. But what is this? Test your siren. There. Okay, and here's the box. Nice and dandy, video quality seems to be good. Obviously, close focus is shit because this is a probably hyper-focal uh, setup lens and it's always focused to infinity. Yeah, anyways, seems to be good. Let's see how it's gonna freak out. When I'm gonna picture in picture. Looking cool. All right, so here we are. Uh, as you notice, setup was really, really fast and really, really easy. And you can do many, many things with this camera. Uh, unfortunately, I have no time uh, to show that. I have uh, probably, this is uh, the features of the camera. It's probably a different story or story for a different day. Today, we just looked at the... So that that was as easy as it can is it as it can get to set up the camera. The setup process is very straightforward, and unboxing revealed all things what you get when you buy a Vice Cam V3. I'm gonna also uh, run a test, and when I dunk this camera in water or you know spray it with like hose, and wanna see how that gonna stay. If it's continue operating, then I'll try to disassemble this thing to see what's inside because I'm very very curious to compare it with these bad boys or uh, I know good boys <laughs> whoever is bad and then also to compare it with some other cameras I have also I would like to compare video quality between this guy and that guy so yeah I'm very very interesting in all of that uh, the software features and other jazz I'm not gonna talk at all because this is really consumer oriented. I think I'm gonna conclude my unboxing of this little cute Vice Cam V3. Stay tuned for a more detailed videos, for example, teardown and some quality video quality test and durability test. So guys, thank you for watching and see you next time in another episode of Inside Out Electronics.